Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld, the Atomic Robo Hotel. So in the last episode we got ourselves uh, working on filling up our nuclear reactor. Obviously we have the beginning of recording lag so it makes it a little bit hard to move around. Thank you game, it's going to kick in eventually. Uh, but currently we're working on getting the other 14 uh, uranium rods. Oh god, what exactly are they called again? Got me all screwed up. What are we building? Uranium fuel rods. There's the exact name. Uh, so right now we're down to, I think, five left. I should have checked while we were here. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Five more. Uh, so we're currently working on getting that done so that we can do our next step for Atomic Rim, which is going to be, if we go into uh, control rod actuations, uh, we have to do two scrams while fully fueled and, you know, load in, ready, and, you know, actually running. Uh, so we should be able to get that done today because we already have the materials for it. It just, you know, it needs to get made, which is the tricky part. And uh, we're also working on digging out a space over here for the, well, for one, it's going to be a new reactor over here, the larger one. And also the storage for the rods, that way we're not putting them in normal storage. And it's going to be fuel rod storage for consumed rods. Uh, that, because obviously they're massively radioactive and they need to be processed and stuff. Uh, so that's all going to be stored down in here once it's all done. It's just taking a while to mine out. Along with that, we also started work on a new beachside property with quite a bit of rooms. Uh, nice, large, big rooms. High, it's going to be a fancier place overall. But we did accidentally dig into this nice, big, open area in the mountain. Don't know what to do with it. I thought about it. Um, this is a new recording session compared to the last episode. Still don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I kind of, I was trying to think of, you know, what can we do? The best thing we could have done was not built this at all and done it like somewhere in here along the mountain, used in here as, I guess, that property. But I, not a whole lot we can do, really. Like, we'll probably do... Not much. You see, what I was planning to do is we were gonna do like a, a bridge type deal here. That way, you know, they can go kind of stand out fish if they want. Then we'll do like up here, we could do like a small campfire-y thing or even just down here on the beach. Well, beach would probably be the best spot. That way they could see the beach. Uh, but we could do something like the campfire-y thing in here, but you don't really get much of a view because you're in the mountain. So there's nothing really scenic there other than, you know, we could do like a, obviously it's not practical that it's not gonna be used. But like a beach volleyball court is about as good as you get. <laughs> you got a small swimming hole. But other than that, you know, not a lot going on there that we could really use. Wow, you could tell which bot that is. It's obviously Al Bundy going a million times faster than everyone else. So either way, uh, today, the plan, we're going to continue working on this. Get all that up and running. We're going to continue making those fuel rods. And then once that is done, uh, we'll have Peter going back over to doing clothing production, which is severely lacking right now. Uh, that's because we don't have many crafters. <laughs> uh, we do have some people that can do crafting, but we were looking at only having people that are reasonably good at doing our tailoring. That way, you know, we get the most out of materials. I don't think it's that big of a deal, uh, because what I was thinking is, well, for one, uh, we did manage to sell that uh, silent jaw that we had. Don't know when, but it was sold at one point. So people are coming in with some good money. But a lot of the clothing we're making now is worth quite a bit because it's becoming, you know, excellent masterwork quality stuff. Um, and it actually might not be a bad thing to also include low tier stuff. That way people without a lot of money still have clothing to buy. And I didn't really think about that too much earlier. I was just thinking, you know, get the most bang for the buck for our materials. But that doesn't really matter, uh, especially now that the point where, like before, we were getting only, you know, materials from hunting and the tiny bit of cloth we were growing. But we got lots of cloth now, uh, and obviously more coming in once this harvest is done. So I'm not too worried about getting the most bang for our buck anymore. Uh, it's more so, you know, have enough stuff to actually sell. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to be including Bubbles, uh, Dayton... Nexus, who Nexus probably won't do a whole... Oh, Nexus might. He is part of the reactor group. But for the most part, there's not a lot for Nexus to be doing most of the time. Um, mostly because Peter is always doing the, the majority of the crafting stuff related to that. Uh, so we could do... Whoops. We're going to want that as a one. Uh, we could have Bubbles doing that. We have Nexus doing that. Uh, and then we do have people like Muppet who can learn very quick. Uh, it might even be worth doing Reagan, 
uh, Evil Monty, Robo Rama, and Amvel. Because even though they're lower, they will get it pretty quick. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get all of you doing this. So what we're going to do is have these set to the same as uh, what we have crafting set as. Uh, so you can be a two, you can be a two. Mostly so, you know, other priorities continue as they were. Uh, so we aren't screwing anything up. So that should make it so clothing's getting more frequently done. Uh, now we are also burning through our food relatively quickly. Obviously we do have quite a bit. We should be good till next fall or next spring, I guess. Uh, because we can start, like, for example, it might be worth it to... Is that a group leaving or is it frozen? It's a group leaving. Uh, it's only a 75%, so that's not great. Uh, but what we could do just to see if we can, you know, make sure we're good for food is throw in a quick crop, which would be like rice. Uh, there's rice. On some of these finished fields. And that way we have a little bit more uh, food coming in, possibly. And it won't hurt too bad if it gets ruined. But I don't really want to take away their growing time, uh, because they also need that for plant cutting. Which, there is lots of that to get done. Uh, not any more growing out here, though. That's nice. Um, so, basically, we just gotta wait out uh, all the stuff getting done. Because we got the rods, which, they're getting done fairly quick. It's just a, it's a long process to make, you know, fuel rods for our reactor. Oh, I was also asked if I could fix this. Not really... Um, the way that I would have to fix this, I did go off camera and, uh, use the dev mode remove roof, which is why it might look slightly different from other places, um, to see if it was the roof itself blocking it, but it's not. It's, uh, just the way that, I guess, uh, buildings and stuff work when they overhang. Uh, you can only overhang so much, like, you can see that overhangs, but it only goes so far till the ones behind it start getting drawn above it. Uh, so the only way to fix this would be to dig out, like, two tiles here... I don't know if I really want to do that, honestly. <laughs> uh, I know it's kind of irritating, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. But we'll see. We'll see maybe later. Uh, right now, we got a lot on the go already. Wow, a lot of cloth that needs to be brought in. Um, now, since this is all being turned into... Well, it's all going... Oh my god, we got so much. Okay, maybe we won't need cloth for a while. It is getting hauled. It's just not super quick. But, yeah, since it's getting turned into clothing, I'm not too worried about the health of the actual cloth. Because, uh, there's no real plan to sell actual cloth. Uh, although, eventually, once we open up more stores, we will probably open up a textile store. That way we can, like, soak people for the, you know, the couple dollars they have left. They can come and buy a piece of cloth or something. <laughs> something like that. Uh, oh, actually, shit. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't allow sewing. This is going to be used right now. We're going to build ourselves our bot recreation room. Uh, so that actually isn't going to exist. Uh, what we could do instead is that one can be rice. And we could also remember to turn it on this time. Um, all up in here. That's just planted by accident, obviously. So I can also be rice in here. Uh, down here got done. We can get that done as rice. And everything else is... Not fully harvested, but we'll get those planted first. Uh, so, we got a new recreation room to build. Uh, and we may as well do that one out of... Uh, the same thing that we did over here, which would be sandstone. Check our sandstone, make sure we're good. Oh yeah, we got lots. 1800 will be enough for everything we need. Uh, so this is just a guest recreation room. Uh, we are going to get rid of this fence, but it does cause a bit of a problem. Because we got to do it in a way that's not going to uh, make it so the guests could come in here while they're here. Uh, so we're basically going to have to go something like that to that to that. And then once that's built, get rid of this part of the fence. Because they can walk through the hedge. Uh, but if we get rid of the fence after that's built, then they will be able to come in here. But that's it. Uh, and then we'll get the wall in and we'll be good. That should work. God damn. Where'd you just go? Oh, jeez. You made it all the way down here. Look at how Bundy go. <laughs> oh, Wow. That's only with a 9, too. God, oh, I can't wait to get all these bots upgraded. Oh, there was also a... While well, I was looking around. Uh, what was it that I seen that also might be useful? Uh, the engineering implant. Uh, okay, so the engineer implant I thought was an interesting thing. That obviously we're not going to have anyone to put it on right now. Uh, but if we get a tier 4, uh, what was it called? The engineering implant? If we get a tier 4 robot, that would be appropriate for this. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh god, I don't know where it is. Engineering. There it is. Uh, so what this does is it says mechanoid and mechanoid, both plus 50%. Uh, but from the description, it seems like if you install this, it'll make it so... Uh, it, obviously, there's not proper information there, so I can't just show you it. Uh, but it does say that you, uh, that upgrade will make it so you can do everything Android-related better. Uh, so that'd be crafting and surgeries and stuff. It's a 50% bonus. That's huge when it comes to surgeries like overclocking and all that. Uh, so if we get ourselves a tier four bot that has crafting abilities, then we will end up doing, what's Peter doing here? Are you done with the rods? 10. I clicked it. Why did it do that? Uh, we need three more. Uh, Peter, as much as I want advanced components, we're out of material. We're out of uranium. Are we really out of uranium? Okay. And we're not getting it from mining anymore. So we got to buy uranium. Okay, that's a bit of a slowdown. Um, we, I was going to say, we may as well get these in there, but there's not really a point to it. We don't need the power right now, and there's no point using it, because that's just going to, you know, use up useful fuel. Huh. So we got to get uranium. Um, that's going to be an interesting one. What's the peaches doing out here? Are we not getting hauling done? Because I know we're still harvesting everything on the map, which I honestly, we don't really need to do anymore. But, um... Who's supposed to be hauling? Oh boy, that would be Hiram is doing hauling. So you're doing construct. Ah, that's the problem. Construction, mining, and then hauling stuff. Um, and Anger is just mining. Is there anyone that... See, it, this is where it gets complicated because I can't just go like that and order people in, you know, hauling. Uh, so I don't know if we actually have any dedicated haulers left not really an easy way to check because you're doing research uh and you guys have ones so we have reagan doing our hauling so reagan what are you up to a hauler bot with extra speed would definitely be a good uh upgrade right now too and i'm not obviously going to put implants on shit bots if we're trying to get good bots because the, the, the implants are quite expensive as well uh but yeah, it would be real nice for one of our next few bots. It'd be nice to... Okay, so if we could choose, uh, the best way to go would be a bot for crafting-related stuff first. That way we can get better mechanite, uh, mechanoid uh, upgrade implants, the engineering implant, plus all the other ones, obviously. And it would make it so we can make our advanced components quicker. And then from there, a hauling bot, maybe two... And then we can go into whatever. It doesn't matter. Obviously, we don't get that control, but it would be nice. Uh, so we can deconstruct that section of fence, which should... Actually, it's not going to happen for a while uh, because of how priorities are. Because they'll always construct first, which I think all, most construction is done, actually. We got a lot of chunks to move out of here. Also, that could get mined. So they didn't finish up those two little bits. Uh, and we also, I guess, want to mine that out. May as well use it. Uh, same with the components. Uh, we'll leave... No, we won't. We'll grab those. We have some gold over here, too. Sure, may as well take that. Uh, salt we'll leave. We don't really need salt. We got lots of it. What are you doing? You're just wandering back here. Oh, shit. Um, we don't... I thought I did doors here, too. Apparently not. We got doors that go into here. There's no reason why you guys didn't do these two. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and then you also have all that steel being moved. We're going to want all these chunks being moved. So we'll set it to haul, but not urgently. Because we don't really want it done that quickly. Not not every bot doing it quickly. Uh, Flight Gamer, can you come and... We're at a synth plane. Okay, fine. Can you come and deconstruct that then, please? What are you doing? Al Bundy, why are you... Oh, I guess you're done. Oh, shit, that didn't take you long. Um, in that case, we may as well just try to get all of this grown. There's no downside to trying to grow more. Uh, just to, you know, fill the time out. Uh, so that can all be just rice again. And then for next year, we'll redo all of our plants properly. And we'll probably research some more plants in the winter. Uh, so we'll get all that switched out for rice as quickly as possible and see if we can uh, get uh, the harvest in before spring. I doubt... Uh, sorry, before winter falls. I doubt it, 
if we do, it's not going to be much. It's going to be a partial harvest, but whatever. Um, and you're making patch pants, and you can't do that. Muppet, can you do this? Can you deconstruct this for me, please? Um, actually, we're going to have to force it so you do all of them, since this isn't your main job. And then we'll get that in. And actually, we could have got rid of these two because they wouldn't have opened anything up. Uh, and then we're also going to want doors. So we could do... What are we using here? Uh, we are using ebony. Sure, why not? Uh, and that's only an ebony door, not an auto door. So let's grab ourselves an, an ebony auto door. Uh, and we can do that... Sure, right there. We'll just get a double door. <clears throat> and then you guys got that covered. It'll get built. That'll get deconstructed. Uh, this floor is going to need to be redone, so uh, this is going to be the... Oh, let's use a Rimmefeller floor. I do really like the dark mosaic. It's quite nice, although it might not contrast well with all the dark floors out here. Um, something like a white mosaic might be a nice look. We also have linoleum and other blocks. Uh, the herringbone's not bad either. Although I wouldn't do it out of sandstone. It'd probably be slate. Uh, but the same problem. We got so much dark floor here already. I don't really want to include another dark floor. But if I do, it would be the dark mosaic. Ah, right, let's do dark mosaic. Tis nice. Um, and then with that, we're also going to need a shit ton of lighting. Oh, also, uh, I did miss some vents on the last bit of residential we did. So we're going to need to fix that up. Did I make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? It's always even. <laughs> it's always even. And it makes it a nightmare because you can't put these centered. So we're just going to have them on the same line. Uh, and then we're also probably going to want a light over here as well. And then that TV can get shifted out of here, which they have been using, which is nice. Uh, Ryan's father came around. We have our synthaline components done too. Okay, that's wonderful. So, for synthaline components, uh, that'll save us some steel, and we can make them five at a time. Uh, so, that is going to be doing until we have 200 again. Uh, so, that's going to be steel and synthaline instead of just steel, but it comes at a lower cost. Uh, so, we'll be eating through our steel a little less. And I think, if I remember correctly, work time 84. So, that would be five times that is 420. So yeah, it's a pretty good time saver too. So uh, we don't need that because we should always have the synthaline for this. We'll get that in here. And eventually we're going to need more than one bench. And bulk goods trader, you might have uranium. Uh, I forget what I was saying. I got distracted. We also are done with research. Uh, what did we finish off with? So that was the vitals monitor and... I got rid of it all. Vitals monitor and something else. But with that done, is there anything else that... Oh, we also are going to want to get ourselves into sewage treatment. Because we aren't going to have water sources we could dump into. Uh, so we have a septic tank, sewage, sludge, compost, water filtration, sewage treatment, and then the washing machine. Washing machine we don't really need. So we'll leave it for now. Um... And we have to get some guns because we gotta make we gotta start making guns. But at the same time, that's a lot of steel. Uh, we didn't get the go juice production. We'll get that. Um, we got power showers, smart toilets, and hot tubs. We can get through that as well. We also go industrial scale water. I doubt we really need it, but we'll get it anyway. Um, what else is of use? We may as well get our medicine production. What's these other things here? Antitox and methadone. We may as well get those up and running. Just because we got most of the other drug-related stuff done already. Um, and for now, I guess that should be alright. Yeah. And we'll look at foods and soil and stuff like that afterwards okay so that's looking good um oh yeah the uranium trade uh do you have uranium i always miss it no you do not have uranium uh but you do have, okay so we're getting two more advanced components um is there anything else that might be useful i don't know how our medicine supply is uh 
I think we should be good. I think we have more than enough. I might be wrong. Oh, well. How is it? Oh, yeah, we got 53. No one ever gets injured, so it doesn't really go fast. <laughs> Uh, what we should probably do is set up an auto buy for uranium so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is, oh god, I can't see. Buy uranium. Uh, so we're going to want to buy it when, oh god, how much do we want? Um, probably like two, three hundred at a time. Because it's not like we really need, it's that we need a lot when we are doing stuff. And then none for most of the rest of the time. Uh, so we'll buy up to 300 since we're not able to produce it ourselves anymore through mining because we turned that off because it kind of defeated the purpose of you know needing money uh because the whole point of the the thing was to use uh the money we get from the hotel to buy the things we need but uh you know the mining kind of made the uranium not really needed um we still obviously need steel that we're mining and some plasteel and gold and stuff but uranium is a big one since it is hard to get uh, so we can do up to 300. We're going to want to filter for... I should have done this while I was rambling, but I'm terrible at this game and everything. So, <laughs> so much for that. Uh, I don't want that anymore. I want the category, please, and we want that to be uh, raw. Uh, so it should be uranium at the bottom here. Okay, and then... I don't think anyone sells it at anything other than normal price. So we could just leave it like that and buy whatever. Uh, and then we want to get rid of these. Hey, Dayton, do you want to do that? No. Hey, Peter. You, no. You should also uh, hold that urgently. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you a new brain, don't worry. Evil Monty, how about you? You want to get these done? Thanks. And you can get that one done as well. We have visitors. We're not doing too bad for our overall capacity. Uh, we can get these corner pieces in now. And then we need that floor done. So that's going to be synthaline. Just make sure. Yeah, we've got lots there. Uh, and then you guys did finish... No, you didn't. Still working on it. We did get the mining done, though. What? Wait. Construction too low. Uh, we had Flight Gamer say that you didn't have materials for this? Oh, it was because you were in here, so you didn't have materials. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And it is almost done. Okay, so what we can do is fix up uh, the heating and cooling issue. Surprisingly, uh, not as of this video, uh, as of recording this. I guess that would be today's episode. It's the only one that's recorded but not live yet. Um, no one pointed this out yet, and I'm actually surprised. Although, I guess, what, the last episode we finished? So it's been one episode, so I, I get that you guys missed it. I missed it too. Uh, but we want our heat and cooling. So just to make sure. So we got that along here, along both of those, and then centered down here. Uh, so we're going to want small one, preferably. One, two, got to do it staggered. Yeah, that could be staggered there. Uh, and then that's going to be the bottom side, side. Oh, I don't know if I got them going that far to the end. Rhino Revenge. Okay, we're going to want to pause and deal with that because that's uh, a bot killing situation. Uh, so that should cover all of them. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And I think that was it. And we got all of those done. We are still going to need to do down here, obviously, but we'll do that once we do it all at once. Uh, Fluffbot, you're going to have to back off. I don't know how injured that rhino is, but probably, yeah, it's, it's a little bit slower than we are. After this shot, we should be okay, though, if we want to run. Okay, we're going to want to run. It didn't even slow down much. Come on. Stupid game slowing down. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Uh, okay, so bandit camp. Okay, so we don't need that. We have our septic tank done. Uh, so, where do we want to do this? Um, right now, we have a lot of our stuff in here. Obviously, this room is going to start getting a little small. Um, it really actually depends. Because do we need... A, is there another option for a water tower? Just like a water tank? Uh, so, we're just going to want normal hygiene. Do we have just normal tanks? Water... There we go. That would be what we want. Just a water barrel. So... We could probably get rid of some of our heaters as well. Obviously, uh, 
I thought earlier on we would need a lot more than we did. Uh, five is a little bit overkill in the grand scheme of things, but whatever. Uh, yeah, in here's coming out good. The floor is different enough where it's going to look all right. Um, so that means, okay, I guess we got to wait for that to get done so we can get that move so we could then do our septic tank and everything. Septic tank, you probably can't even do indoors. It makes sense. Uh, there it is. So you're going to want to be made out of, actually, we could make you out of synthaline. Because then it's like a plastic tank. Uh, and you do actually go indoors too. I figured it'd be one of those, you have to have it outdoors type of deal. Um, guess not. And how did our... Oh yeah, we didn't get any more uranium, so we can't do that. And then all down here... Come on, guys! I just want to work on the next step of something. Because so far, it's not been a very productive day. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not been very productive. We got half a recreation room done, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and our store should be full of clothing. Uh, it's getting there. You guys are working on it. A lot of partial finish stuff that shouldn't exist, but it does. Uh, a lot of cloth. How much uh, cloth did we walk away with? Uh, 20,000! <laughs> From one giant harvest. Okay. Anger, what are you up to? Oh, you're just stargazing. We have more visitors. How are we looking? We got a scroll bar, about half of... Uh, uh, yeah, we're probably at about 30-ish people now. Not a lot of happy people. Although they probably are the ones that just came in. Uh, everyone else is doing not bad then. You obviously like robots or else you wouldn't have all the ones you want. Uh, pirate merchant. They don't sell uranium. Okay, well, since this is taking forever and I don't know why they don't come and do it. Uh, there's no reason for this, right? No. Yeah, no. Uh, Mad Squirrel, is that going to be an issue? Yes. Okay, well, you're just going to have to fight. And there's literally no one even close. Uh, Al Bundy, where are you? You're quick as shit and have a good uh, DPS. You may as well try to come out here. Just in case uh, Muppet loses to a squirrel. Which does happen. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll allow that. Alright, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, how many advanced components have we made so far? Oh god, there's quite a few of them actually. 13. Uh, is that 13 plus we already built a new AR Persona Core? No, we have not. If so, we were two away from a bot, but... Yeah, no. Doesn't work that way. Uh, we're also almost out of this drug too. It's only 200 bucks a pop and Ryan's going through them like crazy. Like he should be, I guess. Oh, it's done in here. Okay, so what we need is we're going to have a TV. So we can do a TV just in the center back here. Can we use the rest of the room for others? Oh my god. Let's do this with the game paused. That way when I move my mouse, it's not going to register my click 10 seconds later. Uh, so we could do a TV right up against it. Right up against it. Really sucks having to uh, do this with the game paused, but what can you do? It's either that or it fucks up every couple things. Right, and the TV, I think, goes out to here. Yes. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then within here, we can also do ourselves, we want more recreation. Uh, so we got, oh, we got computers too. We never put that in our other room. I think I meant to. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Add our computers into here as well. So we can do a couple computers at the back. Uh, two and three gives us a nice even amount. And you guys can get pushed up a little bit. Oh, and we have a group leaving. Um, and then we'll have to get more machines still. Or actually, you know what? We'll just take these machines and add them into here. Because you guys are going to want slightly more recreation than what we're going to be able to get here and this these are nice and compact so they're good for you know having more bots rec rec recreationalized is that a word <laughs> you get more bots recreationalized at once in a tighter area this way uh, we can also do a long wave radio uh, we'll do that in here as well uh, we can also do a piano on this maybe not that side um, first let's grab ourselves one of the bigger thingies so we can add a pool Hmm. Pool, roulette, or poker. Because they're all going to take up enough room where they, we can't get another one in. 
If we do poker, then we can get some dartboards in as well. Uh, where's the not-shit dartboard? There it is. Uh, we could do these out of synthaline as well. Although we might want to switch this with the arcade machine. Because it might look a little weird from that direction. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get them swapped so that's facing this way. So we'll have to wait for them to move that. Uh, and then that's going to need chairs. Uh, so we can just build some new cloth ones since we have a builds basically a billion cloth. Uh, these computers are also going to want a chair. Uh, we should also go through and upgrade all of our chairs. Oh, which side's the right side? Well, there's the tower there, so I'm assuming it's that side. I don't know what Ryan was up to. I was just going to check, but that's fine. Yeah, so uh, it would be nice to go through and open up a furniture shop but with all of our old crap and uh, do a new store. Uh, sorry, not a new store. A warehouse where we just mass produce furniture until it's good. Um, I don't know where we'd do that, though. Also, it's a massive pain in the ass moving stuff around. What is with the sudden lag? We're good. It's all good. Also, cleaning's not getting done. Uh, bubbles, how are we looking here? We're up at 14. Uh, and that still didn't get done, right? Okay. Huh, I wonder why. Uh, Peter. Need material. What are we lacking? Oh, it's probably uranium. Yeah, it needs some uranium. Okay. Okay, visitors, visitors, another group. What are we at? Uh, we're still good. Small scroll bar. Look at all the blood. Oh my god. Don't look. <laughs> Uh, okay, and that deconstruction never got done. So what is it that people were working on? Because we got a bit of construction here, but if they didn't even deconstruct that yet... Uh, do we have to social fight? And you have to do it with Ryan, of all people? Don't fuck with this pretty face. It's what gets us the money. Oh, Anvil lost that one. Uh, luckily, it's all just bruises, and you're going to go rest... In a proper medical room, that's nice. Uh, Anger, can you come and deal with Anvil, please? And how fucked are you? It shouldn't be bad. Yeah, it's just fist. You got your leg? Ryan punched your leg to nothingness. Ah, that's quite impressive. Uh, there's also that there. Let's grab that. Uh, so you're going to need a replacement leg. Uh, that's not the right place for this. So we're going to want... Oh, which leg is it? Uh, that is your right leg. So we could do a makeshift replacement leg right... Yes. We'll just throw that in. Because it won't really matter. Because you're going to get it replaced eventually. Uh, we also need a power conduit in here. So we can get... Not doing a wrap around. Yeah, we'll just wrap it around to here. But preferably not overshooting the path. Um, and then these lights aren't getting done. Well, but sorry, the lights are done. It just needs the power. Uh, we don't need that. And then for here. So we're going to want a power conduit. Really? That's my bad. Should have got someone competent. Okay. Uh, and your thorax is... Thorax is almost done. That threw me off. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait and get Amvel a new leg eventually. Less, <laughs> preferably not when he's on the brink of death right now. Hey, I've never seen visitors uh, looking at the corpses before. Okay, so in here, uh, we are going to need a roof over this. I'm not sure if it'll actually go in. Uh, what's our measurement? So we got a, so yeah, it's not happening. Okay, so we're going to need some support structure in here. Uh, but that'll happen when we divide stuff up. Uh, which I guess we should probably do sometime soon. But we'll get our power and stuff like that in first. Uh, that washroom up there, obviously, every bedroom does have their own washroom. Um, not sure what the plan was in here, uh, because we're going to really want to split this to have more than one washroom, like one toilet, because we're not going to have a shower or a tub in here or anything like that. Um, but I don't really know how we would split it. I guess uh, doing a wall like right here. And splitting into two smaller toilets would be the best option. Have a stall door. And then it's just kind of like a washroom stall, but it's an actual proper room. Uh, that way, you know, you could have two people taking a shit instead of one person taking a shit. 
And although everyone has their own room anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. But still, still, we'll do this. Um, so we're going to want that to... Oh, we probably don't put reactor-related stuff in here. Uh, looking for hygiene. And that would be the stall door. Uh, preferably not out of wood. Uh, we're using synthlene for all these. Uh, you know what? we got a stall door right there. So we'll throw those in. Uh, and then we can grab our power. So we got to there. We could bring that all down here. Up and around. Oh god, please do it. This is why I don't build with the game running. Because it doesn't like it. Okay, so that's all in there. So that's our perimeter done. Uh, and then we're going to want... It sucks that we're going to have to do this. And then probably still one right here to make sure everything's caught in the middle here. Um, and then we can do one around that perimeter. Sure, we'll do that as well. Uh, and then, I guess for now, we'll run that down here as well. Until we can figure out how we're going to line this up. Also, we never did a front door. Um, I actually don't know where we want the front door yet. So yeah, we'll be fine not doing a front door yet. Uh, and then that's going to also need the power being transferred from way up here. Uh, good question is, where do we want to bring it in? Because obviously they're invisible, so that's not really a big deal. we got to get that path in. We can run it under the plant for most of it. Uh, and that's going to end up as a wall. No, it's going to end up as a hedge. Um, so the hedge will continue right here, actually. So we could just run that right down here. And set up our mining right here as well. So that'll be a power conduit there. And then we'll hedge over top of that. That way they're not looking directly at the mountain when they come out. Uh, and then from there, it's going to need to be connected to... Right there? Sure. Don't think too much about it. The, they go underground. It doesn't matter. You won't see it. Also, forgot that this room was a thing that we were working on. Uh, could have been doing this today, too. So we'll get that moved. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, we don't want that urgently. Sorry. Um, so how do we get this shit out of here without letting too many people in here? Not really a way. We basically just got to open it up. We can open it up and do a hull urgently. Uh... Mother and Colonist Hotel. Is there someone that is here with the name Hotel? Or is that your last name? Because Ryan's last name's also Hotel. I gotta find this out. Mother of Ryan, Colonist Hotel. Um, so I'm looking for our guests. Here, yeah, if we do. We can't order it. You fucks. Okay, there's an easier way. Numbers. Guests. We're up at 34. Oh, it is alphabetical order already. Okay, so... H. Holy shit, we do have someone named Hotel in our hotel. <laughs> it's actually a thing. And you're a clerk of all people. You want to come run our store? Huh. And that's Ryan's mom. I wonder where he got his uh, desire to be a hotel person. <laughs> so, would that is that your nickname? Or is that... Because Ryan's last name is Hotel as well. Yeah, okay. So, it is your last name. Because if you look at Ryan... Uh, I did name Ryan. Ryan Hotel. Because I'm a fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> but it's just weird that it's the actual show name is Hotel. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, either way, we're at the end of the episode for today. So... Next episode, we're going to finish up in here. We're going to get these moved and then move down again. Uh, we're going to get the power done. We're going to start filling in in here. We'll probably just open up the doors and let everyone come in here for one quick grab it and go. Uh, and then we got all of this to fill up. Sadly, sorry, I do apologize. Not the most exciting of episodes in the world. But it's fine. It happens. It happens. Um... But, yeah, uh, we are, it's mostly because we're just trying to get stuff caught up on. Oh, my God, it's so dirty in here. Hey, Al, can you uh, clean this room, please? Actually, we need to clean up everything. What we need is more of these damn bots. Um, we should be able to get a, probably anyway, a, another mark, a tier 4 bot tomorrow. Next episode is what I mean. Should be able to, anyway. 
because we need like 25 plus we need like 30 total so yeah we'll just keep working on that and obviously this room and down here we should probably get another store eventually going to a uh, furniture store so we could start upgrading all the other furnitures that we got going on but uh, either way for now that is going to be it so thank you everybody for watching and i hope you all have a great day see ya